In this episode, we're going to define how to fully define a sketch in SOLIDWORKS. In this video, we're going to cover how to fully define a sketch in SOLIDWORKS. You should remember that a sketch in SOLIDWORKS can have one of the three following states. Underdefined, fully defined, and overdefined. There are different color codes for each of these and we're gonna go over all of them. So, I just drew some random sketches on the SOLIDWORKS. They don't have any meanings. They could be the best basic sketch for your part. And they are at the moment blue, meaning underdefined. You can see it here on the down right corner, it says underdefined. If you click on a certain entity, it definitely talks about that entity. So how can you fully define a sketch? By applying either dimensions or a sketch relations to it. So first we go over the dimensions. Dimensions can be applied using the smart dimensions from the toolbox over here, top left corner. And we start by applying dimensions to this rectangle over here, trying to fully define it. We will set a distance of, or width of eight millimeters and a height of 11 millimeters and we can still see that all these four corners and all these four edges are still in blue it means it is still underdefined what does underdefined mean underdefined mean a sketch still can be shifted changed or moved within the solidworks if you're going to design something professionally you preferably want to have a fully defined sketch because then nothing can go wrong it is still underdefined it means i still can drag it upwards I still can drag it sideways, but what I cannot do is to scale it because I still have defined the height and the width of the rectangle. How can I make it fully defined that the sketch goes fully black? I can see that it is still free within the space of SOLIDWORKS. You have to fix it to a point. I'm gonna do that by dimension. So I'm gonna get this corner and set a distance to the coordinate system and set it at 25 millimeters. Once I do that, these two vertical lines turn into black and these horizontal lines still stay in blue. Why? because the distance from this vertical line to the coordinate system is now fixed. It cannot be changed. It means this rectangle can still move up and down because I'm not going over the dimension 25 over here, but I cannot drag it to the sides. It would be good to set another distance from this corner to this coordinate system and set a height limit and set it at whatever you want 15 and now it's fully black it means i can neither move it up and down nor sideways nor scale it nor nothing else this rectangle is now fully defined before i carry on i'm going to delete all the dimensions that i applied to this by dragging uh by highlighting all of them and pressing delete on the keyboard now it goes back to being underdefined again if i highlight it like this and go to this add relations on the left you see it here fix and click on fix it will go to black it means it is now fully defined and it's black if i click on it you see here down right corner says under underdefined so fix is another way of fixing your sketch never do that never if you're a beginner forget that fix exists fix is a tool for professionals let's just leave it at that all right, now I'm going to fully define this sketch in the middle. It's a little bit more complicated than the rectangle that we did, so let's get to it. We have a circle. We have another half circle here, two rounded edges and an incline line, a straight line. Let's just start by applying a radius to this and click OK. I don't want to change the dimension. Our straight line is still in blue, so let's just add a dimension to that line it is still in blue so let's just add a distance to the coordinate system now it goes to black the radius of this circle is on the uh, underdefined so i'm gonna add a radius to it it is still in blue so i'm gonna set a distance between the center of this circle to the coordinate system vertically see what happens still blue what can we do if i drag it it doesn't move but if i do it like this it can move so press ctrl z so it goes back let's just apply a distance from this corner to the coordinate system still blue the radius here and now all of them go into black this is fully defined i'm not sure if that was the most efficient way because this 
sketch was completely open and it was an odd shape geometry so sometimes it's like this sometimes it's like an rectangle and it's easier now we have seen the underdefined state we have seen the fully defined state and we're gonna see the overdefined state which is highlighted in red this is very rare but sometimes it happens in SOLIDWORKS for example I have this shape over here and it is all dimensioned yet it is still underdefined let's just go over the dimensions first the height here is 10 the height here is 6 and we have an inclined edge with a distance or length of 5 millimeter but it is not vertical if it would have been vertical on top of the 6 the sum of this height would be 11 which is more than the sum of the other side 10. let's see what happens if i try to make this line vertical if i click on it once there will be a pop-up menu it will allow me to add some relations uh, sketch relations to this entity that i have highlighted so it gives me make horizontal i can click on this and it will try to be horizontal i click on this make it vertical or fix it i told you fix is not for you if you're a beginner for the sake of this example i'm going to click on make vertical by the way you get all these options that i'm showing you in this pop-up menu here in this property manager horizontal vertical fix so i'm going to click on vertical and see what happens it becomes red and you get item is unsolved on the right bottom corner and yellow means item conflicts so let's see what happens this item is now highlighted in red and the rest is highlighted in yellow. So they are in conflict with this inclined edge because it cannot be vertical and at the same time be equal to 10 because 11 is never equal to 10. If you face an issue like this, you have to go one step back and delete the relation or dimension that you have added that caused this problem in the first place. So how can I do that? That inclined edge is the problem. So I'm going to click on it and I get the error in the property manager vertical 15 which is the name solidworks has assigned to this relation click on it press delete on your keyboard it gets rid of that latest error making relation and your sketch goes back to being underdefined sometimes you have some random sketches and you have set the dimensions for the most important stuff some random stuff are still underdefined you want it to be fully defined but you don't want to go through the hassle of applying all the dimensions and trying to uh what uh, should i do to make it fully defined whatever i do it is still underdefined there is another feature for that and it is here display delete relations so let's delete all the dimensions from this shape here and make it completely underdefined now we want to make it fully defined but we don't want to go through the hassle of applying dimensions and relations to that because maybe this is sketch is not as important as the other ones that we have already defined so but it should be there it should be fully defined but we don't want to go through the hassle there is another option in the display delete relations and the sketch tab if you click on this arrow underneath it and select fully defined sketch and click ok it will automatically apply enough necessary relations or dimensions to make that sketch go fully defined like this that would be the easiest way but you can do a lot of stuff wrong with this option so you have to be really careful with this option this option again is viewer discretion is advised i don't know maybe it's for intermediates as beginners try to apply dimensions manually one by one until you get it fully defined okay that's my recommendation but this is how you can make a sketch go fully defined if you want to know why you should do that there are a lot of reasons why you have to do a sketch to go fully defined because after you use that base sketch to create a 3d model you're working on the model and then a lot of stuff can go wrong because your sketch is still loose underneath it if your sketch moves due to any adjustment that you do later on to your model the whole model is going to be affected so you want the base sketch to be fully defined preferably again i'm not putting a law a rule on that but learn to work with fully defined sketch later on you know when to do it when not to do it when it's necessary necessary when it's not when it is not necessary all right that would be the topic on how to make a sketch go fully defined and if you have any other questions comments or topics just do let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel because we're improving our videos every week for you i would like to know what topic to cover for the next video so if you have any topics it's your chance
Also, don't forget to check the website because we put on weekly tutorials, high quality, unique tutorials for beginners, intermediates, as well as professionals on there. Make sure to go to the link below in the description, find it, go check it out, and I hope to see you next week. Boom.